Yeah. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction with your boy Isaac, man. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, man, scroll down, leave a like for me. You know what I'm saying? Sub up for me. Um, head over to my main channel and sub up over there. It's just Isaac, I S A A C. You feel me? We got pranks and everything over there. You're gonna love it, man. If you love these type of videos, if you subbed up over here, you should definitely be subbed up over there. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, today we got Big Act, man. My boy Academics. We got, he was like, damn! Exclamation mark. DJ Academics reacts to Keefe D's arrest body cam. Alright, so for those of y'all who don't know, you feel me? Um, if y'all don't know who Keefe D is, basically he was the man, or one of the men, that were involved in uh, Tupac's murder, man. Rest in peace to Tupac. Um, but yeah, after years and years and years and years of trying to figure out who did it, man, I guess they finally made an arrest and the murder of Tupac. Um, and that's big for the culture, y'all. Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's big. I don't wish jail on no man, but like, you know what I'm saying? The way that he kind of was moving, bro, it was just like, bro, come and arrest me, please. Like, self snitching at his finest y'all i'm talking about doing interviews saying he's involved in the arrest doing multiple interviews i'm talking about writing a book on it like he probably thought y'all the case was just shut like they were done they were over it like you know what i'm saying because uh i think they said something like he wasn't the gunman so he was just in the car and he like called the shot to kill him and the person who was apparently the gunman is dead now y'all so i guess he probably thought it was a closed case so he thought he could talk about it probably but he's been talking way too much yeah ignore my dog if y'all can hear it in the background my bad he 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 a crackhead yeah he crazy um but yeah yeah he basically self-snitched on himself nigga wrote a book about it like come on brody come on but uh yeah, that's basically who this is, yeah. And I guess they arrested him, y'all. And they got a body cam footage for that. So we just gonna get straight into it. Let's do it. Okay. Look at this. Oh, this is a video of KVD? What's this? Hey, Keith, Metro Police. Come over here. Oh, is this the, uh... <laughs> Metro Police, come over here. Bro, this is the oh, most this polite the, uh, arrest for a this fucking was murder the arrest ever. footage. Oh, my God. This is the arrest footage of KVD. Watch this. I can't even know what he was looking at yet. Yo, they said, by the way, let me read this. Tupac Shakur murder suspect went out for a morning walk and suddenly found himself in handcuffs, charged in the nearly 30 year um, uh, unsolved case. 30 years. They just obtained years. the body cam footage from. Yo, 30 years? Like, I'm talking about this case is older than me, Brody. Like, nigga. <sighs> Can you blame this man for thinking it was all put to bed like 30 years ago, bro? There's so much that could happen in 30 years, bro. But, uh, yeah, man, I guess, like, it's still never smart to just self-snitch the way that he was self-snitching, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? The feds are the feds, bro. Them niggas are relentless. Dwayne Keefe, the arrest, and you can they see him walking down the residential they feel street like they with cops pull up and tell him he is busted. Keefe D is totally compliant during the interaction with the cops. He doesn't resist at all. His only complaint was that he's thirsty as fuck for the bottle of water he was carrying. It's the first time we've seen the footage of his arrest, and he goes pretty quietly. When officer put him in the car, he tells them he's a pro and climbs mm -hmm. in the front passenger seat. He even engages some casual he's a conversation. Pro is crazy. Officer that makes it clear you're a Keith pro at getting arrested exactly why he's arrested damn in his uh, words he's involved in the biggest case in las vegas history and he drops damn oh, r.i.p okay. park though. this is him in court okay let me just play this body cam footage right here hey keith metro police come over here metro police hey, come, come, come over here, here. <laughs> bro <laughs> these are the nicest damn cops in the world bro what the hell stand right here in front of the car yep Yep, go and put it down. I know. Mother. Hang on. Put, the, put that down for a second, alright? Yep, just, just go ahead and put that down, buddy. <laughs> Fuck crazy, bro. I hate passive aggressive cops, like, bro. You have anything on you, sir? Yep, just uh, go hang ahead and put that down, buddy. Hang on, all right. Oh, you're thirsty? <laughs> just gotta make sure you don't have any weapons on you, you know? I hate to have to shoot you in the butt in the middle of this fucking road. 
passive aggressive cops, man. That shit is. Put your palms together like you're clapping. I just want to make sure these cups can be all right on you. Yep. Uh... <laughs> like, just listen to the way you talk, y'all. I just, I just want to make sure these cuffs are all right on you. <laughs> just want to make sure you're good when we uh throw you in the back of the squad car. <laughs> make sure you're comfortable. While we uh, drive you down to the station to serve the rest of your forbidden life. You have anything on you, sir? Niggas in the chat saying nigga look like he was expecting it. Bone and water. Nah, for real, like. We're gonna put you in the car. I, I need, I need, I need to drink some water, man. I'm thirsty. Yeah, we'll let you get a drink right now. You just going for a walk? This man just worried about the water. He not even tripping about the. Uh, you know, I mean, tripping okay. about your ass. See, it's pretty calm. We'll get you some water, my man. Can, can you get it now? Yeah, as soon as we get you in the car, we'll get you We'll get you in, yeah, once we're in the car, all right? Okay. Appreciate it, sir. Yep. All right, let's walk over here, sir. Okay. You don't worry, your water's going to come. Come over here, sir. Are you double locked in the way? Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's good. You got uh, lakes? I don't. Yeah, I got some. Yep. Hold on before you put them. Yep. <laughs> we gotta put some leg shackles on you. It's just part of our policy. Are you wearing right? double pants, sir? You wearing double pants or these are boxers? Alright, I'm gonna pull these all the way up. This man said, are you wearing double pants or are these your boxers? I'm gonna toss these on you real quick, my man. Why the hell he be wearing double pants? He said he was going on a morning walk. Only niggas I know that wear double pants are hoopers, bro. They be wearing shorts under their shit. Cool. Alright, sir. Go in uh, have a seat right in here. I'm gonna help you out. Yep, just kind of put your butt up against there. Kick that foot up. Alright, sir. Go ahead and put your butt up against there. Kick that foot up. You ready? I'm a pro, dude. You got it, alright. They put the leg on my boy, pro. too. That was my plan with his ass. Uh, no, we're done. It didn't even look like there was like a task force, kind of, right? Oh, this is him talking yeah, to the cops? No, this is the least aggressive arrest of a murderer. So what they got you for, time. man? That's crazy. They were not worried at all Jeez. about this man, like, resisting or... <laughs> Fighting oh, back, yeah? nothing. Like recent? Mm -hmm. September 7th, This nigga said, what they get you for? Oh, Bro, no you're shit. The cop. <laughs> no shit. Wow. You know why I got this vibe, bro. That's a long time, that's a long time away. I dislike cops so much, bro. Hmm? <laughs> y'all know yeah. why y'all got it, Not a detective quite yet, but yeah. Like, come on, man. Yeah, that's a long time away, man. What was that? Fucking 20 some years? Stop trying to make a fucking yeah, conversation shit. with me, gang. Like, stop it. Sure took him a while, my huh? friend. I ain't worried about it. I ain't doing shit, so I ain't. Okay, pop your shit. Well, <laughs> so I mean, not worried that's what about it. for, right? Nah, I ain't gonna lie, though, buddy. It's kind of like hard for you to say. I ain't worried. I ain't do shit when, like, this whole time leading up to this, you've been saying that you did shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you wrote a book about it, bro. <laughs> like, there is very few ways, and did interviews, a book and an interview. There is very few ways, multiple interviews. There's very few ways to snitch on yourself more directly than a book and some interviews, <laughs> like that. Nigga, you, was ba you basically wrote Come Get Me on your forehead and posted it on Instagram. Oh, so they uh, raid your house and stuff, huh? That was like, what? Ago, yeah. The, the, uh, I'm walking around the corner this morning, walking through my walk. They raided his house two months ago. So how you ain't get arrested then? Oh, shit. Why is this one the one that's making all the... Wow. Oh, what the hell? Also, my chair just fucking fucked up like that. They didn't make a scene like last time? No. Uh, they did. Oh, they did? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, they had three squat units. I'm in my back. I hear a bunch of walkie-talkies in the house behind me. Saw people over the gate. 
<laughs> me and the SWAT dude peeped over the gate. This nigga doing way. a lot of yeah. talking. Oh, wow. Walk in the house. Shit. He might really not be worried, bro. He talking a lot. Well, they, they weren't very subtle then, huh? He said they didn't do that this shit this time. I was walking down the street and this dude just jumped out. Come on, motherfucker. <laughs> so they didn't have the SWAT team this time around. All right, give me one second. I gotta, I gotta go grab something. Hold on. All right, yeah, I think that's the end of it. Um, but yeah, man, that's that's definitely crazy, bro. Thirty years down the line, bro, like. Bro was probably not thinking nothing of it. Like, he probably thought he was safe to write a damn book about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not trying to keep laughing at that, but it's just, like, the concept of that. Like, I don't care if I did a murder or if I did a, any crime 150 years ago, nigga, and I'm still alive somehow. You know what I'm saying? That might have been a bad analogy. but I don't care if I did a crime 150 years ago, bro. Why would I ever write a book about it? Yeah, I killed him. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, I told him to do it. I know who, you know what I'm saying? I gave him the gun. <laughs> that's some cloud chasing shit. That's, that's the old head version of cloud chasing, bro. <clears throat> My boy, like... Yeah, you tweaked out with that one, y'all. Um... But yeah, that's all I gotta say about it, y'all. That was just very, very, very stupid. And I know he did a bunch of like interviews with Vlad and shit, so just very stupid. Um, you brought this upon yourself. I'm not gonna lie, my brother. But uh, yeah, that's all I really gotta say about it, y'all. Rest in peace to Tupac, though, man. You know what I'm saying I'm sure his family um is satisfied. But uh. Yeah, that's it, y'all. If you enjoyed this video, scroll down, leave a like, man, for me. Um, you know what I'm saying? If you're new to the channel, sub up. Y'all head down to my main channel and subscribe over there, too. If you like these videos, you're going to love it over there. I do pranks and everything over there. So, uh, you know, quality entertainment, man. If you subbed up over here, I don't know how you did that. And you're not subbed up over there. You might as well go ahead and make that move, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Join the fam. Um. But yeah, it's just Isaac again, I-S-A-A-C. Um, new prank dropping over there soon. Be on the lookout for that. And uh, that's it, y'all. I'm going to see you in the next video.